Following the Court of Appeal judgment last week, the Amewuli led River State House of Assembly are sitting. After the Speaker takes his seat, the leader informs the House of two judgments from the courts in his possession. I have in my possession the certified true copy of the enrolled order of the Appeal Court's judgment. With me, Mr. Speaker, I also have with me the certified true copy of the judgment of Justice Omotosho with me. Chairman of the House Committee on Judiciary moves a motion that they write to inform the governor about the court judgment he is disobeying. This House should write to and draw his attention to these judgments that are open before us and notify him of the fact that he cannot do anything outside this House, which is led by him. The Speaker accuses the governor of failing in his duty to present the budget to the House of Assembly. The House resolved to write a letter to the Governor, even as the Speaker says he has seven days to present the budget to the House. The Governor of River State, in his duty, in his oath of office, to present the appropriation bill to the River State House of Assembly, he has failed to do so up till this date. The Constitution in Section 121 mandates the Governor to present the appropriation bill to the House of Assembly. Meanwhile, following a request from the governor, the Victor Okonjombo-led assembly have screened and confirmed a lawyer, Emmanuel Frank Fubara, as a commissioner in River State. Mr. Okonjombo starts off proceedings by reading a letter from the governor requesting the screening of the commissioner nominee. Pursuant to section 192 of the 1999 constitution as amended, it is my pleasure to forward Barrister Emmanuel Frank Fubara to the River State House of Assembly for screening and confirmation as commissioner and member of the River State Executive Council. The House rules are suspended, and Mr. Frank Fubara is led into the House for screening. Responding to questions, however, the nominee, who is from Apokotoro local government area, promises to leverage his experience for the development of the state. As you know, you know the law profession we are regarded as learned. We have done almost, we have touched almost every sector that you can just imagine. And I know that wherever I find myself at the end of the day, I will be able to discharge the duties of my office creditably. His nomination is confirmed unanimously by a voice vote, after which the House also considers for the second time the bills on the establishment of the State Emergency Management Agency and reform of the transport sector.